Hey, Joe. How are you? And you. What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA at Flight Club with undisputed Skip Bayless. LeBron doesn't belong in the same sentence with MJ, but that's a whole nother issue. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not. Style? What style? Hopefully, he's gonna buy some sneakers. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I need one new pair of sneakers with which to kick Shannon Sharp's tail on Undisputed. So, could you help me find that one pair? Let's find that pair. All right. So, Skip, let's start with the obvious. You're wearing Chicago ones. Jordan 1's a classic. You actually covered Jordan for the Chicago Tribune in 1998. I did. The last Bulls run to his sixth title, sixth MVP of a finals. And I don't know why, but I, I hit it off with Michael right away. And he wasn't a big fan of the Chicago media, but he would return my phone calls. So I got his original, you know, like wow. this is it. So you had a good relationship with him. Um, as media people went, Michael could be very difficult, but when it was time post-game for him to do his number with the media, he was the first athlete I ever covered who insisted on taking 45 minutes post-game to dress to the nines, the earring, just the whole post-game image that made him a Walt Disney star as well as a sneaker-selling star. Let me ask you, you had a good relationship with him. Do you think that helps you wearing his sneakers? If he was tough on you, do you think you would still wear Jordans? If he had, if we had not been friendly? Right. You know what, that's a great question and you are probably right. Knowing me, I would have taken it pretty hard and pretty right. personally. Right. And I might have held that grudge. I might have a harder time putting the shoes on. But the sneaker has transcended Michael, it's so iconic. Mm -hmm. I got into Jordan futures. I'm addicted. Skip, you talked about the futures. How many pairs of these do you have? Hmm, I hate to tell you, but I probably am up to a dozen pairs. Wow. Mm -hmm. Different I think colors? I have every color except this one. And okay. just between us, as we were driving over, I asked my wife if she would sign off on me getting these. I, I don't know, I think I got a grimace or a groan from her, so I'm not sure, but I think they're very cool. But I also think these are very, very cool. I wouldn't mind uh, taking these home today. What do you think about, you know, we had Robert Kraft on the show. Now it seems like you go everywhere in sneakers, like formal events. They want to turn me away in my contribution. Okay. Yeah. I'll give him the contribution, just not show. He only wears sneakers and suits. What do you think about how acceptable it's become? You know, you used to not be able to wear sneakers in a club or a restaurant. You did not. And now some of the most powerful people only wear sneakers. I think it is the single greatest development in apparel. Wow. Is that somehow there was a breakthrough where everyone said, well, wait a second, why not? So Skip, I'm not sure if you get tired of talking about LeBron, MJ. Never. <laughs> but Although LeBron doesn't belong in the same sentence with MJ, but that's a whole nother issue. All right, well, you've been critical on LeBron. It seems like recently, you know, after last year, you've loosened up a little bit. He did win. Yes, he did. I'll give him that. I mean, it took Draymond getting suspended and Bogut getting hurt for game six and seven, but he still won somehow, some way, after Kyrie hit the shot of the finals. He's over a dozen models with Nike. Do you yep. think LeBron's sneaker legacy could ever compare with Michael's? I'm probably not the best one to ask that question mm -hmm. of, but LeBron is so big. And by the way, in all seriousness, off the floor, has there ever been a better role model in the history of sports than LeBron James? I've said it from the start. It seems like he's a good father, good family man, good example. I'm not big on athletes being role models to start with, but if you're gonna pick one, I would pick LeBron James. If LeBron could break through and win another couple, I don't know, he's got the sporting cast to do it. He's in the right conference to get to the finals year right. after year after right. year. And maybe he could at least threaten the legacy of the Jordan sneakers. Fair enough. Now. You know, there's tons of LeBron models, like mm -hmm. I said. Could you see yourself wearing any LeBrons? You know, just glancing, mm -hmm. these I like. So these catch nice. my eyes. Yeah. I like the color. It's got a little purple in the blue, mm -hmm. so it's, it's a different color than I've seen, and I like the style. Now, 
I, I wouldn't want to attempt a late clutch shot in, in these shoes because you, you'd probably miss it. But, but if <laughs> why you just, is that? If you, well, because the guy whose signature is on here oh. has missed too many of those. Okay. But, but the point is, just to walk around, I, I would wear these. I'd wear them out of the store right now. Victor Cruz, one of our wide receivers, mm -hmm. has his own signature sneaker. Dak Prescott, Ezekiel mm -hmm. Elliott, and Odell Beckham, all three big stars don't have their own signature mm -hmm. sneaker. Out of those three, who deserves their own shoe and why? By the way, do you really like any of these, Joe? Yeah. I, I, style? What style? I, I'm not feeling what? it. It's I'm a, not seeing it's a, it. A, a Victor, blue, I'm sorry. It's a blue, a wheat. Yeah. Look, this almost looks like a Timberland boot. Yeah. Of those, th we're talking about Dak, Zeke. Listen, a Zeke the Freak signature, that would work. Yeah. I think it would sell. I think it's coming soon to the store near you. Okay. See, Dak has some of that Kawhi in him. Okay. He's not the most outspoken. He, he speaks well, but he doesn't say much because that's his MO. So I don't think Dak will sell nearly as quickly as Ezekiel because all you need to know is that, that, right. that. And you say, ah, Zeke the Freak. Mm -hmm. So I think that's coming soon. What about Odell? Odell can really play. He's a special talent. I do think his his heart is big and good. He's just lost focus on who he is and how he fits into a team. And it, it does sell because he's a compelling figure. I just think Odell and the Big Apple was a bad match for your sake because now everything's over the top. We started the episode about Jordan's impact. Kanye's shoes actually resell for even more than most of the Jordans. There's always a discussion, pro athlete versus entertainer, and yeah. is the entertainer now the pro athlete? Do you mm. think that'll ever be the case? It feels like it's gone there. And by the way, on Undisputed, we have a lot of hip hop artists, mm -hmm. and rappers. We've had those conversations off air. Of course, they all want to be athletes and all the athletes want to be rappers. To me, in the end, the athlete will have more staying power. I don't know what Kanye's staying power will be, but it feels like Jordan is going to live forever. Great place to end. We've talked about everything now. The easiest part, you get the browser shells, yeah. pick out some sneakers. I got to get me some LeBrons. All right, let's do it. All right, I gotta have these. My wife's told me I can get these. Are you good with it? Yeah. Okay, I gotta have that in a 10 and a half, mm -hmm. and these are to die for, so I gotta have these if you can find a 10 and a half. Thank you very much. And then I got one more for you. This is my exclamation point here. You ready? Yeah. I gotta have these LeBrons. I love the color, I love the style. Every once in a while, I love me some LeBron, but not very often, but I gotta have these shoes. So your total is 980. 980, Trey. Yep. Put Thank it on you. that. So as you guys could see, Skip came through, bought his first pair of LeBrons, two pairs of Jordan Future, kept it realer than most. Make sure you check out Undisputed Fox Sports 1, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time every day. Thanks Pleasure so much, Joe, man. And how about them Cowboys? Go Giants. Yeah.